afternoon everybody now today i'm out here with alice the video before i showed you kate now i'm here with alice and i just want to give you some background right quick before we get dive right into it right now i'm working her with single lines and there's two of them one line on this side one line on that side and what we've done is we went down around the field down the hill down there and we've made a little old uh, a loop around that field just kind of get the edge off you know get her to paying attention to what she's doing uh she's not really sweated up yet but we're working on just getting the edge off my next move is going to be to hook up her one line stuff which is going to consist of coming right here and we got to unsnap her g-string and the first thing i want to do is let's see if i can do this and hold the camera at the same time all right so her g-string is snapped on and for the first time i'm going to tighten it up just a little so let me move it up a few holes okay so right about there might be all right it's a it's a little loose right now but whenever she pulls on that tire it's going to suck that collar back on her shoulder a little and it should tighten my g-string up just about right so and i'm gonna go ahead and take this one off go ahead and just pull it right on out of there and this will be the first time y'all y'all get to witness it this will be the first time that she's ever been driven with one line uh now on this side we got to do a little different i want to pull my line through because i want my line to kind of form a straight line down the side of her so i'm gonna run it through through this baby right here all righty because uh what you want is you want your line your one line to kind of come straight down her body and then over here on this deal i'm gonna pull the slack out and pull it all the way down and that way that hangs down there about about where her hip is and then after a while i'll run the tag in on my line through there but for now i'm just gonna leave it like this okay so what we'll wind up doing is uh we're gonna start off right here and i'll just let her walk straight for a little ways kind of get her bearings about her figure out what's going on let her kind of get used to what's going on with this one line deal and then i'll start doing some turns some figure eights after we kind of get her sort in the swing of turning and we'll do some wide turns it ain't got to be nothing catastrophic you know you don't want to start off wide open and then uh as she gets better on her turns i'll tighten them up a little and then i'll go on down the hill and we'll go back to uh to uh going around the track down there and she done pretty good uh lugging uh she didn't stop as much as i thought she would so the other day working in the woods helped a lot one thing i think has helped her a lot uh today when i did give her a break i give her a long break i let her stand there and catch her breath real good before i start her back up and i think that's gonna help her some so we're just gonna keep lugging and keep you know doing what we're doing and for right now i'm gonna put the gopro on my on my head and let y'all watch what happens starting them under one line really y'all they don't have to be broke to one line you know we call it being broke to one line but there's not really a such thing as being broke to one line because i mean this is just another method of driving they don't really have to learn how i mean you, you've got a g-string on this side and a line on that side you know if you pop the line with your hand you pop it she's gonna pick her head up when she picks her head up this g-string is gonna pull her head to the right it's gonna make her go to the right if you get a steady pull on it it's gonna make her go to the left like you would if you was driving with single lines you know uh regular two lines okay if she's walking too fast you go right here tighten her g-string up and hold a little pressure on her one line over there and that'll slow her up if she's not walking fast enough and she's starting you let go of your one line a little and you give her some slack and she's starting to carry her head out to the right Come up here and loosen your g-string a little you got her tied up too tight give her a little slack and give her a head and let her go on okay so that's the comment that's the simple theology behind this one line deal and uh we're gonna dive right into it okay here we go all right 
Alice, 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 come up. Go ahead, you got it. Now I kind of want to just give her a little slack and see what she's doing. Is she walking straight? Is she carrying her head out to the right? That's what I want to notice right now. Looks like she's doing pretty good. Her head's about straight. Hello. See her pick her head up when I shake that line. Whoa. Whoa. Now my D string's a little bit loose. She ain't responding like just like I want her to. So let me tighten it up a little. I'm gonna get her about right there. I don't wanna go too much at a time. All right, Alice. Now that's pretty good, I think. All oh, a little, all oh, a little. It might be just a tad tight. Whoa, let me back her off about one link. When I was pulling on my line the hard, she was Let's try that right there. I backed her off two lengths on that little chain. Maybe that'll do what I need to do. All right, Alice, come up. Easy. Good girl. All right, haul. Oh. Haul, oh, oh. Now, in the beginning, until she kind of gets used to it, you can just sort of go to the left. It ain't much different than, than two line. All right. Kind of let her walk straight. Just sort of let her. Equalize out, let her get used to things. If that makes sense. All right, now haul, Alice. Haul, haul. See, now this time she's hauling a lot better. Haul, haul, haul. Come on around. Haul a little. Now I'm gonna roll into my figure eight. I'm gonna come right on back around this way. All right. You little. You. You. Now I'm gonna do a G turn. Gee, Alice. Gee, little. There she goes. She's figured it out. Easy. Yep. 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 See how she's going to the right? Gee, little. Yep. There you go. All right. Whoa. She's walking a little too fast for my liking. So I'm gonna tighten her up just a little. I'm gonna go back to my, go back two lengths like I had it a minute ago. And that's gonna slow her up a little. And it'll make my, my G-string more effective. Yep, yep, all right. All right, now, haul. Easy, easy. Haw oh, haw. Oh. Haw oh, Alice. Easy. Alright. You got it. Easy. Alright, now G. 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 Easy. G. See? Now y'all, it's, it's basically about that easy. You know, you got to do a little adjusting to get it right. Whoa, she's still walking a little fast for my liking. So I like my animals walk slow, so I'm gonna pick her up one link. Tighten her up one link. Now, maybe I'll slow her down a little more. All right, Alice, come up. Now I can hold a little bit of tension on my left line, not much, but a little. Now haul, now haul, easy, easy, haul, haul. I hope y'all are able to see this and make out what I'm doing here. Haul, haul, all right, easy. Now it just takes a little just a little flip, see? Yep. Yep. Yee. Yee. 
so you'll get used to it in a minute but the thing is right now y'all she ain't used to it and i'm making her go to the right i'm not asking her to go to the right i'm making her go to the right with this line you know it's not something that they just got to learn and do by voice that's not the way this works this is actual just another method of driving they're not she's not listening to my voice not yet she's going to but not yet see i'm not even talking to her and i'm making her haul around and again i brought y'all along on the maiden voyage of alice's first first experience under one line and the reason why is because i wanted to show you that this is just another way of driving i see like i'm not even going to speak to her this time see how i got her going to the right now the more she does this the less i'll have to shake this line and the more all i'll have to do is just talk to her <clears throat> easy slow down a little all right now haul. Haul, haul. and this is what i do the very first time is just these figure eights for a little because that gets them used to you know the way this line handles and this is a big inch and a half wide leather line and the reason why it's so heavy is what see how it's got that inertia see how her head moves when i flick it yeah alice and sometimes you might have to get a little in the beginning you might have to get just a you know a little uh rougher than you probably need to to get in the very beginning just to make her mind you all right alice come up now gee there you go good girl and the more i do this with this one line all i'll have to do y'all is just kind of take that line and flip it up there like that just do a little flip and she'll go to the right it's a real real good way of driving once they get you know broke to it real good and they learn it but my point is here today y'all she don't have to learn anything from me to control her i got my control in my hand and if you got that g-string tight enough you can make her go to the right now if you ain't got your g-string tight enough and you flip the line uh it's not gonna give you the effect you want uh, gee alice alice gee gee easy you see now she's starting to mind it a lot better by the end of the day today she'll be driving like a pro i promise you 30 minutes with any animal and they can drive under one line pretty good most of them if they're you know if they're pretty well on their way to being broke you wouldn't want to do it with a one that ain't never been worked but one that's been worked and kind of knows what's going on come on Oh, 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 good. She's got to learn to get off that G-string a little in the turn. Uh, all right, now G, 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 little easy, G, G. All right, go ahead. all right now i'm just gonna let her go straight for a while all right we'll pick up with you we'll pick up with y'all here in a minute down there in the field going around the track like we did with kate yesterday all right alice come up easy good girl easy Whoa. Let me get back in my tire here. All right, now come up. Whoa. Okay, y'all, I wanna tell you what I did here. Uh, I've got her going down my trail and we're fixing to start up this hill over here around this little curve. It's gonna be a hard pull for her. I'm not gonna talk while she's pulling because I don't want her to stop because I'm talking. So it's, I'm going to be quiet 
but I wanted to tell y'all what I did there. I got off the tire and was gonna let her pull up there to the hill without me on it, but I had the G-string adjusted to my weight. Uh, when there's more weight in the collar, it pulls the collar back further, which will pull her G-string more. So I had to give her a little more slack. And then when I got off the tire, she was walking a little faster than I wanted her to because her G-string wasn't as tight. So until she gets used to, to it, uh, I don't want to adjust it because I just got to go right up there and around that curve and then we're going to start up that hill and that's where I wanted to lug at with me on it. So we're just going to go from here like it is. All right, Alice. Come up. Easy. Good girl. I've got to give her a pretty good break so i'm just going to turn the video off for now and then i'll be right back with you now y'all uh the conditions of the ground has changed some today yesterday when i was working kate you know it was overcast and cloudy and the ground was wet and muddy and slick today the sun's been shining all day the wind's been blowing so it's dried the ground out and this old tar is pulling harder on this ground than it was yesterday uh so that's something you got to keep in mind uh with her she does better if i give her a long break so that's why i just turned the camera off for a few minutes i wanted to give her plenty of break and let her get her wind built back up and you know i just kind of lay around here and look up there beside her you can see her her uh, aspirating you know breathing and uh, her muscles are twitch you know when she gets really tired and really worked down her muscles will go to twitching you know, and that's just stuff you kind of want to keep in mind uh, when you're giving them breaks. And like I told y'all yesterday, working Kate, you can tell when you're working an animal too heavy because it will take them too long to recover, which she's pretty much recovered within five minutes now, which is okay. But uh, she's still not in the best of shape yet to pull this tire with me on it on this kind of ground condition. You know this ground condition is causing it to pull harder too so that's the kind of stuff you got to take into consideration anyway we're going to make our way up this hill and i'm not going to talk why she's lugging all right alice alice listen to me now come up You can do it. Whoa. Now I want to make her stop before she stopped on her own. Y'all can see how she lifts her tail. That's a sign for her. I, I, I know her because I worked her enough. When she goes to lifting her tail, that means she's getting ready for a break and she's going to take it on her own. So that's kind of why I had to cluck to her, kiss to her, whatever you call it. And make her go on and i want to show y'all why she's standing here look at how she's breathing here you know she's sucking wind but she's not really really just you see what i'm saying you know so i mean she's this load is okay for her. it's not you know she's not in the best of shape for it just yet but she's doing okay and like i say ground conditions you know right up through here yesterday this was muddy and kate was slipping coming up through here today it's kind of dried out and and it's fine uh and that old tire there that's an old loader tire is what it is come off a uh one of them wheel loaders a small wheel loader it you know loaded with concrete and it's heavy rubber and that thing pulls hard on this dry ground uh you know so conditions 
your ground conditions can make a big difference in how something pulls and it's the same thing in the woods with logs you know you don't like working in rain and mud but one thing about it when it's muddy and raining them logs sort of slide a lot better oh me all right i'm gonna pause the video again and i'll be back with you in a second all right alice listen to me now come up good girl good girl Whoa. See what I mean by her lifting her tail and she's wanting to stop? I've got to push her a little harder and a little harder every time. She's got to learn that she can lug, that she can do it, that she's not going to run out of wind. And I'm not going to run her out of wind. She's got to learn that, y'all. And she's got to learn it just a little bit at a time. She's going to be one in that's going to have to learn it slow. And that is perfectly fine. I got all the time in the world. But, y'all. I know I've said this before and I'm beginning to sound like a broken record, I'm sure. But this is the reason why I'm doing all this. I'm doing all this to teach my mules how to really pull hard and stay with it. And if I can do it individually and really get each one of them fine-tuned, when I put them back as a team, they'll be a powerhouse. And that's what I'm looking for because the stronger they are and the harder they can pull and stay with it, the more timber we can move. Uh, you know, we can handle a little bigger timber at times. We can handle doubles and triples a lot better. And the log car to make it even easier on them. You know, I mean, there's just a lot of things, y'all, that we're accomplishing here. All right, let me have her, let me let her have a break, and I'll be back with you in a moment. All right, Alice, come up. Good girl. Good girl. You can do it. See, I pushed her a little bit further than the last time, this time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to build up to it. We're going to go a little further every time. You know, due to ground conditions, due to load, whatever's going on. I know she can, I can tell by the way she's pulling, you know, how much it's putting on her. But I want to push her just a little further each time until she gets to a point where she'll just walk on. Of course, she's got to get her body built up for it too, you know, her muscles is uh she's she's still not in good enough shape quite and y'all i work these mules you know they're young mules so i don't work them every day i mean i don't and with the operation i have i can't work them every day because i have to cut timber uh some days and then some days we have to truck timber and then some days we're skidding timber uh we, we usually work them three to four times a week uh you know which is about right to keep them kind of in halfway decent shape but if i worked them every day they'd be a different pair of mules, I guarantee it. They'd be in a lot better shape. They're just like we are, you know, if we don't work every day and stay active, uh, you know, we get out of shape too. Let me look around here and see how she's breathing. Looks like she's breathing good. She's recovering good in just this little bit of time. So, so what I'm doing, you know, lugging her this distance that I'm going is about right. You know, she's recovering quick and that's good. I hope y'all are picking up on this process that I'm trying to show y'all. You know about watching their breathing their aspirations uh watching how they you know like her tail picking up on little things like that when she goes lifting that tail y'all that's a telltale sign that she's gonna stop because that's just her that's how she is and uh you know i have to i know her because i worked her long enough i know what she was gonna do and every animal is a little different they're just like humans they got their own personalities 
but i hope y'all can pick up what i'm putting down here you know i don't want to make these videos too awful long i want y'all to be able to enjoy them uh we're gonna keep doing the same exact thing you know y'all y'all ain't gonna miss anything y'all ain't gonna miss anything that we're doing because all we're gonna do the rest of the day is keep going down this trail i'm gonna get off the tire and on the tire and let her lug for a while and give her a break let her lug for a while give her a break you know i'm not gonna just run her slam in the dirt uh i'm gonna give her plenty of breaks and then like i say we're gonna keep building up that's the idea of what we're trying to do here anyway i wanted to show you all a little bit of what we're doing and how we're going about what we're doing uh we'll have some more logging videos coming soon also uh like i say we're about to finish up on the banning track we're about done here and then we're going to move over uh to an amish friend of mine uh mr gingrich jacob gingrich will be moving over to his place and we're going to start cutting his timber uh they're going to have a sawmill set up there close by so those will be some interesting videos uh once we get them coming uh but anyway i just wanted to kind of take you all along show you about this one line deal you know and how i go about getting them started she's doing really good i expect her to too uh we're just gonna keep working so hey uh y'all have a good week and uh may the lord bless each and every one of you thank you